everybody. Welcome back to Four Starters. Uh, today, we've actually gotten a few requests from folks in the portfolio to talk a little bit more about the idea of convertible notes and safe notes, or let's call it non-equity financing for startups. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways that startups can form capital. Raising rounds is a big one. Of course, there's also debt and grants and other ways to attract capital to a business. But we're going to focus today on a particular kind of equity financing, and that is the convertible note and the safe. So first of all, uh, what are these things? Well, the reason that we use them is because there's certain aspects to early stage startup funding that are very unusual. So most business funding in America and around the world is done in very large cap ways by private equity firms, hedge funds, very large institutions, or even large corporations that are funding various things. Uh, or it's done in very, very small ways in the small business environment, usually with small business loans, credit, uh, and that sort of thing. In the very specific ecosystem of venture-backed startups, though, we need certain tools because, in fact, startups are very strange animals, right? They start, there's an idea, there might be the idea of a product, but there's no traction yet. And yet, at times, millions of dollars are required to just get to the point whether we understand if the idea has legs or not. And so how would we do that? Well, it's very hard to ascribe a price to that or essentially a fixed evaluation to an early stage company. So one of the things we did decades ago in this ecosystem is to say, okay, let's design a way to structure around deciding what a company is worth today. And thus was born the convertible note. So the convertible note has a few really important features. The first is it is actually debt. Uh, so a true convertible note has the force of debt. It's at the top of the stack, unless there's other senior secured loans involved, which we can get into another time. Um, but it, it has the protection of debt for the investors, at least as long as it's outstanding. It has a feature to convert into uh, shares of the company at some future date, at some future valuation. And basically, normally it has a valuation cap, which is the best guess of where the founders and the investors can kind of agree the company might be worth at some point, and then a discount usually 20%, but it varies, where in the future, when you convert that known into equity, if that equity is higher, there's a discount implied uh, in, uh, in the conversion. So let me give you a numerical example just to make this simple. Let's say there's a new startup. It wants to raise a seed round of a million dollars. You set the cap at $5 million. So essentially you're selling in the future about 20% of the company. Uh, in the future, that company raises a next round at $10 million. Well, the notes investors convert their million in at a five million dollar cap basically they get 2x their money on that on the other hand let's say things are not going so well and the company has to raise money in a price round at four million dollars well then you're below the cap and so the 20 percent discount kicks in and the investors get a benefit and why well because they've loaned the company the money to get started and that's really important so number one it has the protection of debt there's a valuation cap and a discount that give you essentially brackets of value for loaning the company money before there's real value in the company or before we know what that value is worth and the last and really important thing is it's pretty easy to do. Convertible notes are pretty short documents. They're pretty readily, uh, you know, they're pretty simple out there. People understand them really well and they can be closed on a rolling basis and even stacked. So many startups will have actually several notes stacked on top of one another. Uh, and that makes it pretty simple to do and a really flexible uh, thing. Now, there are some risks here because if you stack a lot of notes on top of one another, you can end up having an enormous number of notes converting into the next round. That might have an effect that we call notes overhang, where the notes conversion actually swamps the new money coming in, and that can have a cooling effect on the next round. So we always urge founders to understand what is the full stack of the notes? What might it look like if you build a pro forma for that next round and just make sure that it's not going to have a cooling effect on the next round? You might wanna do an interim a priced round to convert those notes, and there's other ways to fix that problem. Now, in the world of notes, it would be impossible to ignore that famous uh, innovation that Y Combinator brought to us a few years ago called the safe note. The safe note is a simple agreement for future equity. It's basically a very simple convertible note, except for it has none of the protections or very few of the protections of a convertible note. I will say among sophisticated venture capitalists, there's a certain sense that the safe note is maybe at times a necessary evil or uh, not something that we love. Uh, you know, safe notes essentially have no protection of debt. They're kind of a handshake that sometime in the future, something will happen. It's a very useful concept in terms of increasing liquidity in the space because they're even easier than a convertible note. And in fact, the Y Combinator has put a form up, which almost everybody uses, or at least uses most of. Um, 
But some investors draw the line in certain structures of safe notes. So for example, oftentimes these days, you'll see a very early round be an uncapped safe note. That is to say a safe note that also will convert at potentially a very high valuation in the future. And there's no defense against that. A lot of venture capital firms just won't sign those notes, just won't do those notes. So uh, do beware if you're a founder using an uncapped safe that may itself have a cooling effect on the round. And of course it lacks the protections of debt in an in environment you know, post 2023, where actually a lot of startups did get into trouble and do have liquidation events happening, that is going to matter more to VCs going forward. The last but not least is in the 2021 to early 22 period, a lot of uh, safe notes were being used much, much later in the game than normal. So we're being used very high caps. People were raising 10, 20 million dollars on a safe note at a cap of 100 million or even no cap. That I think we're going to see a lot less of in the future because people, again, are looking now after the difficult year that we've had uh, at more protections for investors. That's really why we use convertible notes and safe notes, the difference between them, some of the things that VCs think are important. But ultimately, it's a really important feature of the startup ecosystem and an important and vital tool in understanding how we get capital to startups sooner and at larger amounts.